let me let me review this, and this is actually our tip of the week. Uh, so they did they open this thing up, uh, and this is according to The Verge. Um, you let's say they can automatically transfer your iCloud library. This is this is I don't want to download my photos and wait for it. And I know I've been having trouble syncing from my phone to photos from time to time, but uh, you can go in there um, under data and privacy. If you go to your account um, on Apple, um, so under, under data privacy, you'll see transfer a copy of your photos and videos and choose where you'd like to transfer your photos. One of the drops outs will be uh, Google Photos. Obviously, you'll, you'll, you'll roll into that. Now, also caution, and it's really funky when, I, when I'm syncing as well, uh, you may have issues with um, sending over um, um, like the live live photos may not work well, yeah. function i know i know they kind of when i download them from google photos now it's interesting because they separate <laughs> uh into oh, into hey here's an a four second dot mov and then here's your actual photo which is really what live photos are you know they put them in a package right. you know the apple way right so so i think the idea is um i'm moving i need to move these over it's not about like putting this thing on my phone and i walk around for another month it's about i need to get out of this thing in about three or four days um because it says it says it'll take several days for it to process right um it let me see if it has let me see where that was um it says it'll take three days to a week for this process to happen but that's a my phone broke i need to go get a samsung because that's what the the Boost Three Doors Down is offering me right now, and I'm going to go with that for whatever reason. Um, I think that's your answer for that. And this is this is your photos are in the iCloud, correct? Like this is not the photos sitting on your phone, not connected to the cloud. Right. But well, I would say this: that I have my, I have all my photos in iCloud and on my phone. Yes. So, and a few years ago, I downloaded Google Photos, mm -hmm. and and I have it syncing just now, well now once you have the initial sync, now it's, you know, I take a photo and then it uploads to uh, Google photos to their cloud. So I have my, you know, my, my photos here and then I have my photos in iCloud and I have my photos in Google photos mm -hmm. through their app on my phone and through the website for both. Cause you can get, you can do the iCloud um, iCloud.com, I think it is, and get to your photos that way, and yep. Google Photos on the web. Yep. But doing it that way, your live photos are just live photos on Google on the Google Photos app. So you can just simply, I open up Google Photos, and I can look at the last well, how many ever pictures taken, and they'll they automatically shows kind of a GIF movie, but you can just kind of pause that and just have it as the photo. Mm -hmm. So if you're willing to ha download the app and just, you know, and if I remember correctly, it didn't take that long for everything to upload and download, mm. you know, so if it's going to take you three days anyway, yeah. I, I would use the app. And honestly, the, the other reason I keep the app on here is I have photos from before I got the iPhone or if I take photos from another camera or when you know, the few times I actually use a non iPhone camera, um, I'll upload it to Google photos and I'll use their search or use something through the Google photos app occasionally to search and find for things that I like their search better than the Apple. So I, I mean, unless you're someone who's like, I want Google, but I don't want to download this app and have it upload and download, like I said, using up if you have a data cap mm -hmm. and you don't want to do that. But other than that, I, I'm having a hard time seeing other than saying sync and then walk away, having that little convenience. But it, it, to me, it's almost just as easy to download the Google Photos app and let it do its thing in the background. Hmm. I mean, I have. I think I think there's another option. Listen, I, I, yeah. I really think there's some people that will that is a non-starter for them just for the process. Too many things. You're telling like I haven't started this. Oh, I don't understand this. You know, oh, I need to move it to Google so I have an Android. Do this one thing. I I, yeah. I really think it's it's because because it re I, I, I and, and and we have to remember this. Like that's easy enough for you and me, Dave. Right. <laughs> Is it easy enough for you to explain to your mom, your grandma, your aunt, your you know coworker, right? So yeah, like what, yeah. what, you know, so so the other so and I think you know remember Apple's doing a lot of things to make sure 
you have no lock-in. And also consider, what if this phone is dead? And sure. I need to buy that Amazon, yeah. Samsung yeah. Android phone, right? I can see that. I like, can see definitely. You're done. Yeah. Yeah. You're done. Yeah. But you put everything in the cloud like you're supposed to. Great. How do I get it out? You can't go Too to the late. website and download it. Already gone. Just Bye. Go. Goodbye. <laughs> Buy another Apple phone <laughs> to get all your photos back. Mm -hmm. You know. Buy the new Apple phone. For... Now you're not locked in. Yeah, they, it's them doing takeout like Google does. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. but uh, but yeah, no, I think it's good that it, good that they give given options. So, oh no, no, no. I'm, I'm saying it's definitely a good option. I'm, I'm never against options. Yes. Um, uh, I could just see that it's an option that duplicate. Now I could, like I said, it's an option to duplicate something that already exists. Mm -hmm. So, right. right. You know, but, if, but someone also... asked, if someone came to me asking me saying, Hey, I have this, I would say, well, have you tried downloading the Google photos app? Right. And letting it do it that way. Yeah. But I can understand if it's like, I have everything in my iCloud and my phone died and I don't, I don't have an iPad. Yeah. So yep. you can't do that, or yeah. I don't have another way to get to it. Consider this is the yeah this is the this, op is, the this is the option yeah. where it's like everything is dead. Yeah, I need to go to Android. I'm wa I'm walking into you AT and T store, Apple store, whatever, saying yeah. I need to get my iCloud photos off of you, yeah. and they mm -hmm. say, okay, go here, do this. do this. We'll do it on a computer yeah. over here. You'll have those all on your Android phone in th in three to three to seven days. Yeah, good to go, good to go. Sure. Yeah. So, all right. Uh, by the way, if I was looking to do this, I'm looking at my phone, and according to my uh, a Photos app, I have photos dating back to September. Well, it says September 2009, but I think that's just a couple of them, but generally September, June tw 19th, 2012, if I'm looking at this right. Yeah, yeah. June 2012 is, is the majority of my pictures starting off. So I think I'd be nearing that week. <laughs> so that's wild that I can just pull this up and look at what I was doing um, seven years ago. Apparently, I was doing podcasting and filming wrestling. 